Hey guys, today is Saturday. It's the end of another work week. I am feeling really good after this week. Adriel just went and got me some centenos. I got some macaroni, baked macaroni, beans, coleslaw. He knows I love coleslaw. And a chicken plate, I'm sure. Hold on, this is a lot of food. Oh my goodness, chicken plate. So I'm gonna go eat. I'm excited because my friend Lexi from school, like middle school, is here visiting and I'm so excited to see her. So I'm trying to make some plans to hopefully meet up with her. You guys will get to meet her. Probably going out with Brandy again tonight. So I'll keep you updated. Hey guys, happy Monday. I just got home from the gym. I did a quick arm workout and did some cardio. Adriel isn't here right now, but he brought me food from Corrine's, which is one of my favorite food trucks. So I'm gonna go chow down because I'm starving and then I'm gonna get back to work. It's been a full day so far. Really good productive day. My arms already feel like jello in the 20 minutes-ish that it took me to drive back home. But I'm trying to be consistent and keep up with working out. That's why I made it there today. A little workout, but it was a good workout. And like I said, my arms are feeling like jello. But excited to eat this food. I got stuffed salmon with all the stuff. Let me show you. Beautiful, oh my goodness. Okay, so plates from Kareen are always very colorful. Got lots of veggies. Looks really good, I'm excited for this. I'm ready to eat. This is so good, so flavorful. Mm. I don't know how she does it. I just left the gym, just met up with Adriel. Brandy is over there somewhere. Where is she? There she is, over there. <laughs> And we're gonna go find some food. Hey, Adriel. Oh, I would cry. Oh, thank God. Alright, guys, we made it inside. There's lots of ducks. <laughs> so I'm here with Brandy. Adriel is here. Alright, I'm feeling a little delusional here. I haven't eaten anything for the day. It's 4 57 p.m. But I just ordered a bao bun and a tantamount which has like ground beef and some other stuff in it. I really got it because there's daikon in it and I love daikon. Oh, I'm right. there's no daikon in that one. <laughs> <laughs> How did you make that up? <laughs> because I was gonna ask. Uh, oh well, I'm sure it'll be good. Um, my friend Nathan came here already and he said that it's really good, so we'll see, we'll see. I'm not a huge ramen person, but I'm sure it'll be good. I'm more of a pho person. Um, if you see the tears in my eyes right now, it's because I'm really funny and I made a joke and I was laughing until I stopped, started crying. See? <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny. She's so hilarious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am in the Vaya parking lot right now. I'm going to an event that's being hosted by the St. Croix Chamber of Commerce. It's a networking event. I forget what it's called. They usually have food, entertainment, and it's usually a good time. So I'm here. I'm gonna go talk to some people. Brandy's here with me. Uh, Holden's probably inside. So yeah, gonna go have a good time, eat some food, and meet people. And Marcel as well. It was a beautiful time. So the history is deep. You know, the history is deep. This is not a, this is not a new flame. This is the real. All right, so it's 9 p.m. now. I'm on my way home. We got these little goodie bags from Vaya. They're cute. I don't know what I'll use it for yet. Maybe the beach. It's a cute little small beach bag. And they gave us these little notebooks inside. It was a nice event, the food was really good. I forgot who the chef was. Baya was doing a collaboration with Hot Ones, which is really cool. It's the founder or CEO of Temple was there. So that was cool too, because they're the ones who like bought the franchise for the Caribbean, he said. They did some giveaways. I saw a few people that I literally have not seen in like a year. So that was nice, just catching up. I don't know, I'm a little disappointed in myself because I didn't network as much as I wanted to or at all really. I just kind of talked to the people that I already knew but it happens sometimes um i'm not really the person to 
go up to people and start conversations but I'm trying to push myself more into my comfort zone so I guess that's one of the things that I will be working on even just being there making it there was like me already pushing myself out of my comfort zone because networking events are a little scary on their own but that by event I love it Chamber of Commerce always does a really good job with their events and I am happy to support and happy to go anytime they're having them so uh, good night Brandy and I went to levels afterwards just to chat a little bit and hang out a little bit um, they're supposed to be having playlists Thursday tonight but that starts at 9 and people are just kind of trickling in but I really didn't feel like staying there for all that so on my way home and I will talk to you guys in the morning we have some really fun plans for tomorrow so stay tuned hey guys um, happy Friday I'm so excited to take you guys along for today today I am meeting up with my bestie from middle school Lexi we have like a loose plan of what we're gonna do today so right now I'm meeting her at the same coffee shop that I've been going to and been obsessed with that you guys have probably seen a million times in the past couple vlogs so um, we're going to Rouge Cafe in Christianstead I think we're gonna go to the beach I have my beach stuff in the back in that red bag that you can see I think she also wants to meet up with a couple other friends from like high school middle school very excited and then tonight I have plans to go to the bear garden that we didn't end up going to so I'm gonna go there and I think she's also going to be joining us for that so I have to double check but it should be a very good day I'm up super early today it is only like after nine o'clock right now I know that might not be super early for you guys but I try to not be out to my house this early <laughs> I like to have nice slow mornings and then you know like if anything I work later at night but today I'm taking the day off because we're gonna have a fun day so Let's go. We're starting the vlog out on the road. I am heading to the gym. Today's day four of trying to be a gym gal. Um, if you haven't been keeping up with my TikToks. I just went to Polly's this morning and got some breakfast. I got a bacon, egg and cheese, and pot and everything bagel. And I got my favorite smoothie, the Sunshine Daydream. I love going to Polly's for breakfast because they have breakfast all day until 3 p.m. when they close. So it's always clutch for people who like to get out of their house a little bit later like me. And I got some work done there, which is nice because they have Wi-Fi and all that. The only downside to going there is that there's no AC because, you know, the island is hot. But it works for what you need to get done. But yeah, I'm heading to the gym now. Today is kind of a busy day. This week has been kind of busy, honestly, because it's officially going to be the start of June tomorrow, which is the start of 
my contracts with my two new clients that I told you guys about, so I'm very excited. Um, I did have a really good start to the week. This is actually the, it was a holiday weekend, so it was a long weekend, and I went to the beach with Randy, and Sunil came and joined us, and it was really nice just hanging out. We went to the Fred afterwards to watch the sunset, even though it was so cloudy that we didn't actually get to see the sunset, but it was just nice hanging out there anyway. Um, and then after that we got some, we actually went to town to El Leon to get desserts and ended up getting apps and a dessert so all very nice. I'm going to include all that footage so that you guys can see what we were up to for the past couple days. And then yesterday was a full work day. We spent, well I spent the entire day at the coffee shop in town. Um, Brandy came by to do some work after work, to do some work with us after work and so was also there doing some work too. So it was a nice productive few days and relaxing few days and today is just just trying to keep that balance. So work this morning, going to the gym, and then I got some more work. I have a meeting later tonight with one of my clients at six. And then I have a webinar that starts at seven. Um, my meeting at six is probably gonna go over a little bit, but the webinar should, it should be fine. So um, I'm just gonna pop in whenever I get off of my meeting. And so yeah, it's gonna be a long day, but I'm excited for the day and I'm ready to go to the gym. I'm excited about my new found love for going to the gym and being consistent, finally, because I've been trying to be this gym girl for a while, so hopefully we'll see some good results. I'll keep you guys updated. Anyways, we have a long drive to go, I'm still in this. <laughs> I was just walking all over Trinidad for days on end, so I don't understand why I can't do a little incline for 30 minutes, but we're done with that. Got a little warm up. Now we're gonna get into the weights. Coming, so I ran out of there so fast, but it was a really good workout. I feel good about it. I pushed myself a little bit with some heavier weights. So excited, be back tomorrow, and I'll bring you guys along again. I just got home from the gym. I've actually, I've been editing my little TikTok from the gym today, but Adriel brought me food from Ozzy's Kitchen, which is in like the Sunny Isles area near Thomas Bakery. It's actually in Thomas Bakery. You just go there and order food. Um, we got some salmon and some rice and stuff. Let me just show you, cause it looks really good. I haven't had food from here in a long time, but it looks so good and I'm so ready to eat it. To join my client call and I'm feeling the adrenaline rush. Like I cannot breathe. My heart is going crazy. I know it'll be fine, but I always get like this before every call with clients, so. I'm trying to calm down. Doing deep breaths. I gotta catch you guys up. My call with my client didn't happen, but I did get to go on to my webinar, and the webinar was really good. Um, it was hosted by Rella, the Rella team. It's basically Natalie Barbu, which is one of my favorite YouTubers. She has a social media management platform that she's building out, and I'm really excited because they have a new feature that they just added to their product which is much like easy sharing which would be really helpful for sharing to brand partners and also in my case to my clients so I'm excited for that I'm excited to see how they build that out over the next couple months I've been testing out Rella and I really like it so far I still do think that for what I'm doing um, especially when I have multiple clients all at the same time later is a little bit more expensive but worth it but I could definitely see myself switching over to Rella in the next couple months. Um, honestly, once June is over, I think I might give Rella like a full chance and pay for um, a higher tier of their platform so that I can really get to use it and test it out. I use different apps for different reasons and I feel like I could do a lot of it within Rilla. I feel gross right now and I need to take a shower because I went to the gym and then I just got right into eating and work and stuff but that was good. It's 8 o'clock now, it's 8 or 9 p.m. It's the end of the work day for me. Kiddos again. We just went to Tipsy, got pates, and Kayla got a uh, taco that she refuses to actually eat. Because this was a hot. Told you guys they're picky. So today has been kind of a crazy day. I have the kids again. You guys want to say hi? Hi. Hi, Mimi. We're the best nieces. 
is ever and we're behaving like eaters. Yeah. Well, you're not eating your taco, so I don't know if I can say you're an angel. <laughs> but I am, because I eat all my food like a good girl. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I um, okay, so let's see, what did we do today? So this morning, did some client work, and then I went over to the coffee shop, met up with Sunil, did some more work there, chatted a little bit, picked up the kids, and then we went to Tipsy Guana, got some food, and now I'm at the airport picking up Omani, who I don't think has been on my vlog in a very long time, so you guys are gonna see him. But Omani is one of my besties, and I'm excited to see him, he's been forever. And friend, and friend. Yeah, that's my friend, Omani. Yeah, we're just waiting outside the airport right now until they get their bags, and then I'm gonna go get them. And then I'm gonna get dropped home. Today, I still have a couple more things that I need to do today. I'll be watching the kids for, I guess, forever. <laughs> And then um, I have a client meeting later tonight at 6 p.m. And hopefully they can hold it together during that meeting because that they can't make it anyway during my meeting. Um, so yeah, that's the rundown. That's what's happening today. I'm so tired already. I already had a coffee. I can't have another one. But hopefully we survive. Okay, bye. Peace out. I want to be in the video. Sure, come over here. <laughs> hey guys. So I got a request that I need to share a little bit more of my work life with you guys. So I have a little update. I just got off of a call. It was a two hour call. Um, Maya was very upset the entire time because I told her and Kayla that they need to be very quiet while I was on this call and they did a pretty good job. Um, but they couldn't watch TV or anything so they were very bored. Maya's very upset so she was literally just spinning circles in circles next to me while I was on this call being so distracted. <laughs> but the call went really well. Um, I think my client is very happy with the information that she got on this call. Um, so I do offer um, not just social media management but also just strategy calls if you just need help with you know, finding out what you should do to make your social media better and more consistent and be more engaging, but you want to do everything else on your own, so you don't actually need me to manage. So if you're interested in consultation calls, just go ahead and click my booking link down below and we can talk a little bit more about your needs. But yeah, that's it for tonight. Tomorrow I'm meeting with another client. Um, I'm going to, this is one of the new clients. I'm going to be touring one of her new properties that she's going to be adding onto her list. So this client is an Airbnb co-host um, which basically means she manages the Airbnb for other people who have properties so she's adding this property on we're gonna do a whole launch of this new property and I'm excited to see it I'm just gonna do a quick tour tomorrow we're gonna finalize some details you know when I'm gonna come back and do content creation uh, finalize the strategy just based on like a conversation tomorrow and it should be nice. Um, I'm gonna get to meet this client in person, so that's also nice. Some of my clients, I guess I've met all now except one of my clients in person. And hopefully before the end of the month I will meet that last client that I haven't met. Um, who's also been my longest running client, so I'm very excited to meet her. Excited, it's been a good day. The kids are here still. Kayla is now awake. <laughs> I'm, I'm so tired. Can you tell how red my eyes are? Yeah, they're not as red as your eyes. My video. <laughs> Hi everybody. This is a remake of my video. How many years is that ago? Like four years ago. Michaela has grown up. I have grown up. We got an old, not as old as some people, but old. I just wanted to say hi and I missed you guys. And you're gonna be launching your own YouTube. Yeah. It'd be like soon. 300 months. But I have the camera, so yes. Okay, tell them to subscribe to me. Like and subscribe to Auntie. Okay, so I don't know how many of you guys follow me on Instagram, but recently I've been doing some check-ins at the gym. And something that I've been saying on my stories a lot is that sometimes you might not feel like you want to go, but if you just go in and say, okay, I'm gonna go do 10 minutes on the treadmill, just walk. Because you're already in the motion of doing it, you just end up doing more. So like, there were a few days where I forced myself to go still, end up doing weights and like doing full workouts because I was already there. So that also applies to other areas. For example, right now I don't feel like doing any more work. It's 10.41 p.m. I had a very long full day. We're past 12 hours at this point. I've been up and down on the road, been doing work all day, staring at the computer all day. I had the call just now that was for two hours. So I'm really tired of being on the computer. But I had a long list of things that I needed to get done today. And I didn't get to all of them. 
Um, I knew that it would be kind of a push today and then some stuff just popped up as they always do. So I'm feeling extremely tired but I am going to push myself to try to get at least one more thing checked off this list before tomorrow because tomorrow is also going to be a long day so I kind of just want to get a head start on it. So that's all I came here to say is just push yourself to do a little bit more, you can do it. This is me giving myself a pep talk right now because I'm tired. Um, that extra task that I'm working on right now is actually doing some research um, for this new client that I have, the same Airbnb client that I told you guys about. I am looking at their competitors right now, so other, just any other short-term rental properties on island that have a social media presence, just to see, you know, what things are working for them, what is not, um, to see what's out there. So yeah, I'm just doing some research and putting together the social strategy. I'm taking my time to do it. This client was actually very prepared. Um, she actually works in marketing. So she already had a full list. She had done some research on her own already. She has a full list of her competition. So I'm just taking a look myself right now just to go through and see um, what the competition looks like.